though we have two problems one for frames the other one for machines now in the first problem the question asks us to determine the horizontal and vertical component of force at D so we want to find the reaction in here and also at E force link the short link at A so in order to solve a frame like this first of all we have to break it down to components Again, remember that you can break it down to as many as a small component you want so let's consider how many components we have we have a component going from E to B so something look like this okay, when you remove the component you have to replace it with reaction force like for instance here I remove the pin A so E I'm gonna replace it with EX and EY okay at point B I have a pin so I'm gonna put here BY and BX there is a tension of the cable right at this place and that tension is actually 100 pounds that's the weight of this block so I'm going to put 100 pound here so considering the distances this 100 pound up to here that will be the radius of pulley which is 1 feet this distance is 1 feet from here to here the distance is 3 feet sorry 4 feet and then distance in the other side is 3 feet so I'm going to call this part 1 so let's move on to part 2 part 2 I already removed the pin here so in order to get the part 2 out of there I'm going to remove the pin at A so if I remove the pin at A at A we don't have a pin we have a link if you look into that it's like that thing is between two pins Right? I'm going to call that F of A. That's the force at A. And then the direction of the link, the force for the link, is between two pins. At point B, I have the opposite of what I have there. Because this is what we call it action-reaction. So I have a BX here. And then the BY is look like this. The opposite. This is the third law of Newton. Now at point C, at point C, I can put CX, CY. Then if I put CXCY, I have to consider this as another component. Instead of that, I, I would consider DC as a link. Why this is a link? Because there is no external force in between it. And then there is the two pins. So for links, the direction of the force is pin to pin. So just to be more clear, I have something here, C. The direction of the force here is like this. This is F, C, D. Now the distance from here to here is 4, that distance in the other side is 6. If you use your calculator and you calculate tan inverse of 4 over 6, you're going to find 33.7 degrees. Okay, I'm going to keep the pulley with this object, with the second object, so I don't want to remove the pulley. Because if I remove the pulley, I have to kind of go to internal forces inside the pulley. Just the easiest one would be just to leave it there. So I have a 100 pound force here. And then because I disconnect this cable, I'm going to have a 100 pound there. Now remember, 100 pound here with 100 pound there is action and reaction. So in part, this is part one, this is part two. In every of these parts, you have to repeat this equation. Sum of f of x equal to zero. Sum of f of y equal to zero and sum of moment equal to zero okay when you do the moment you have to know about what point you are doing your moment so in part one if I do sum of f of x I'm gonna get ex plus 100 plus bx equal to zero very easy and quick so sum of f of y equal to zero I'm gonna get by plus ey equal to zero that's easy too so right now we are doing for part one, right? Sum of moment, I'm going to do it about point E. If I do one, one point, point E equal to zero, I'm going to get the 100, which is going to go counterclockwise based on my diagram. The distance from here to here is three. Because that's a four feet, you have to reduce a feet there, then we have three feet there. So 100 times three, BX is going to go counterclockwise, so plus BX, Distance for BX is from here to here, which is going to be 4 feet. And then the last one is distance for BY. So plus BY, again, BY is counterclockwise too, if you 
you are doing about point E, right? So times 3 equal to 0. Now, you can actually start solving for this equation, but the issue is that you have more unknowns than what you could solve, right? You have EX, BX. Now, if I look at this picture, I have four unknowns. I only have three equations. So I need to go to this part, right, to being able to solve it. If I go to this part, I can write the equation down. But before I move on, I could see the force FCD is not in X, is not in Y. I can break it into X and Y. So I'm going to get here FCD uh, sine 33.7 degrees. In the other side here, I'm going to get FCD uh, cosine 33.7. So on the X, on the sum of F of X, I have FCD cosine 33.7 plus FA, that's the force from that link, minus BX minus 100 equal to 0. First equation done. On the Y, I have FCD sine 33.7, that's moving up, minus 100, minus BY is equal to 0. I don't see anything else than minus 100, minus BY, and plus FCD sine 33.7. So as for the moment, I like to do pick a point to do the moment about it. I'm going to pick point B here to do the moment about it. So sum of moment about B equal to 0. So if I like to do that, I'm going to get, okay, FA is crossing through point B. No moment from this. FCD cosine 30 going through point B as well. No moment from that. Just I'm going to get FCD sine 33.7. This thing is going to go counterclockwise about point B. And that distance from here is distance between B and C. So distance between B and C, that distance is 6. The distance up here is 3. The distance here is going to be 3 feet. So it will be times 3. Then we have the 100 here and the 100 here. 100 here is also counterclockwise, plus 100 times 1. And then this 100 here is clockwise, minus 100. And the distance between here to here, if we have the 2 feet for the, again, the 2 feet here, and then 3 feet there is going to be 5 feet. So we have six equations and we have six unknowns and we would be able to uh, solve them together to find our unknowns. The second, the second problem, which is a little bit more complex problem, we have a machine. In this machine, uh, we have a load on this scoop. There is a couple of cylinders, one cylinder going from A to B, one cylinder going from C to D. And what we like to do, we like actually to solve for Again, I, we like to find the reaction at F. We like to find the force on the cylinder CD. So how to proceed? The first step would be to disassemble it. So we disassemble this scoop. And then that's what we got for the scoop. We have, I'm going to say that what we have there. So let's just for now put a point there. At point G down here, I have the load in there. And the load is 500 kilograms. So kilogram times 9.81. This will give me the amount of force in Newton. So I guess 4,905, something like this, Newton. Now at point A, AB is a link. So I'm going to call this AB. Or again, it's up to me, call it FAB, AB, whatever I like, I can call it. At point E, I have a pin, a pin meaning that EX and EY. Okay, for this one, I just need to get into the three equations, and we'll do them later on. So this is going to be part one. Let's look at part two. Part two is something like this. Going here, going... That's what I, what I got. At point B... We have the reaction of FAB the other way around. As we talk about, that's a third law of Newton. Every action has a reaction. So FAB is going this way, and that one is going to go the other way. Same thing with EXEY. EX is going to go this way. In the, in the, in the, in the other part, it's going to go to uh, the left. And EY going up, down here is going to go down. So we have another force going from C to D. That's a link to FCD. 
and then the ground reaction again not ground reaction is just a reaction at f if you remove the pin you're going to get fy here and fx if i count the number of unknowns in these two i have one two three again this is repeated four five six i have two parts and i have six equations so i can write the six equation and i can solve it but remember fcd is not in the x is not in the y i need to find the angle for it so the angle for this one is so you look at from c to d if you're looking from c to d you can see this side is 1.85 so this side is 1.85 and then the side here is 0 0.4 so this angle there, whatever is that, I call it theta, is equal to tan inverse of 4, 0 0.4 over 1.85. Tan inverse of 0 0.85, I got 12.2 degrees. So this will be helpful because I can break down this force into two components. One would be down here, which is adjacent. This will be FCD cosine 12.2. And then the other side, this side will be cosine 12.2. So all I need to do, once I write the reaction for this, I'm going to be all done. So uh, once I write the equation for this. So part one, in, again, in, in this component, we have equation for sum of f of x equal to 0 I'm going to put part 1 here sum of f of y equal to 0 and I need to pick a point to do the moment about again it's up to me whatever point I want to pick I'm going to pick uh, the point for it as the point um, E right to do the moment about I can find FAB in one equation so sum of moment about E equal to 0 on the x I have FAB then plus EX equal to 0. On the y, I have EY um, minus 4905 equal to 0. And then from here, you get EY is equal to 4905. And then some of moment about point E. If you do moment about point E, you have two forces. One would be the load at point G. That's actually 4905. And this is going to go about point E. That's going to go counterclockwise, right? Based on my diagram, that's going to go counterclockwise. FAV is going to go clockwise. So times the distance. So perpendicular, the force is on the Y. The perpendicular distance would be on the X, which is 0 0.1 down here into 0 0.1. And then I have the other one, FAB. And for FAB, it will be minus FAB into the perpendicular distance for that, which is 0.25 again from this equation you can find FAB if you plug it in there you can find EX that will be kind of easy to calculate now the next part for this is to find uh, the to write the equation for the second part on the second part we have these equations and those equations are let me just bring the paper up so we have sum of f of x equal to 0 and sum of f of y equal to 0 and sum of moment for moment I need to pick a point I'm going to pick point f because I don't want to even find the ground reaction at f the question asks me yeah I need to find it but I can find fcd first I can find moment about point f equal to 0 on the x I got ex remember that you already calculate the x from here right you already have the ex from here you already have a FAB from there. So moment about F equal to 0. Then on the X, we have minus EX minus FAB plus FX plus FCD cosine twelve point two equal to 0. On the Y, we have minus FCD sine 12.2 and then I have the Fy plus Fy shouldn't forget Ey minus Ey equal to 0 
Now, the moment to do about point F, I need to consider all these baby forces about point F. And then I need to find perpendicular distance for each of them. But the only thing that you need to remember that, okay, if I want to find perpendicular distance from here to here, all I need to find, I need to find the distance between the point C and the point F. And that distance will be, for instance, for this one will be, for Fx will be on the Y, for Fy will be on the X. So not difficult to find those distances. The only thing is that this distance here is not given between the point C with that. I'm going to just consider that a distance like a Y. And then that Y will cancel on your equation. So that won't be any variable there. So once you do the sum of moment about F, that Y will uh, cancel out. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video.